Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about lo-fi versus hi-fi or aka wireframes versus high fidelity or pretty versions. So a wireframe is where we're going to start in this course and where you should start as a designer. It could take me a few minutes to mock up this, okay, some simple boxes and I could get it in the hands of somebody to test and iterate really quickly the power of UX design, kind of an MVP, the minimum viable product and get it out and get it tested before you spend ages doing all all the stuff where you end up, I don't know, spending half a day kerning <laughs> or letting or picking images, okay? This won't give me a better kind of experience test. This version won't give me a better and quicker test result from my user, okay, then this will. This, super quick and easy, make adjustments while they're sitting there. It also takes out a lot of the, when you're doing your initial concepts, okay, handing, where is it? handing something like this to the client. They can use it, they can test it, but they don't come back with strange things like, hey, uh, that's the wrong font, or I don't know about that color, or, because at the beginning of the kind of process, that's not our kind of goal, is to not pick the colors, is to make sure the functionality is right. Let's get the core right before we start spending time on letting and kerning. Colors they do not or do like. You can see I've even removed text. Okay, and this is my marketing message so that we're not diving into like, oh, we can't say that or we like to call it something else. We are just getting the functionality of this job, which is a task flow. And the task flow is very simple. Okay, we're just doing these four things. Once we get the mechanics right, then we can spend time. Okay, it's still important, but it's not important at the beginning. So skip the wireframing uh, chunk of the process at your peril. Now, that's the wireframe that I made. Okay, look, fancy rounded corners. <laughs> so try and keep away. Boring font, boring colors. Okay, switch it to black and white, no rounded corners. This is not the only look. Let's have a look. There's like, it's up to you to figure out what the job requires. You know, is it gonna be super simple? Or is it gonna be a little bit more, you know, advanced? It's still keeping out the design, but you can tell this one has spent a lot more time getting this thing to look nice. Not all wireframes are created equal. I'm in for the get it done quickly and out, unless it's going in my portfolio. Then I'll make the wireframe look pretty. And that, and by pretty, I mean something more like this, where there's a little bit more design gone into it, a lot more time with letting and kerning, but it's a portfolio piece. So just keep that in mind. All right, wireframes or low fidelity, high fidelity. And down here, this is my high fidelity or good looking version or hi-fi version. And this is what we're making in the class. It's gonna be fun. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's a fun exercise. Anyway, uh, that's it. Lo-fi, hi-fi. Let's get on to the next video. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials, there'll be a card up here you can click as well, uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.